the outside in the 66S. Then it's the 68 car, Ben Kingsley, Salmon, Slamming, Slamming, Sammy Kameny in the 91, and John Cashman round out the field. 10 laps the distance. Chief starter Mike Walker looking over the field. Green flag clenched in hand. Walker looks him over, lets him go. He, he's number one underway. Mike Scott in the 66S on the outside groove. Makes it work around Gage Heron. Gives the lead to the Hampton, New Hampshire's Mike Scott. Three wide now for the third position. John Cashman not wasting any time going down low. Now Peabody's into it the ninth one. Kingsley got into him just a little bit. Kingsley sideways around three and four. Up front is all Mike Scott in the 66S. Gage Heron doing a nice job in the 0-2, trying to hold on to the second spot. Here comes last Saturday night's feature winner, John Cashman out of Danvers, Massachusetts in the 78. Cashman goes to the outside and takes over the second spot. Now slam in Sammy Peabody out of Sanford, Maine, and car number 91 goes to the bottom side on Gage Heron. Gives the third spot to Sammy Peabody in the 91. Back up front, Mike Scott on a rail in car number 66. Away from the rest of the field. Scott got by Heron on the initial start and took off. Took flight in car number 66 as he's got almost a full straightaway lead on John Cashman. Mass battle on the racetrack is for the fourth position. Gage Heron has the 0 2. Ed Kingsley in the 68. Kingsley trying to look low on Heron now. Heron doing a nice job holding him off at the moment. Now down the back straightaway. Kingsley going to go to the bottom side. Halfway home. Five down. Five to go. Real leader. Mike Scott. Into the fourth spot, Aaron relegated back to the fifth and final spot of the racetrack in car number 0 2. Up front, it is still all Hampton, New Hampshire driver Mike Scott with the 66 S. Cashman sitting second, Sammy Peabody right there in third. Peabody looks like he's trying to reel in Cashman just a little bit now. Peabody's got that 91 car where it needs to be after last week came home in the third position. Now he's trying to reel in John Cashman for the second spot. Last time by seven down, three to go. Peabody now has it to about a car length and a half through the corners, trying to reel in the second spot and take it from John Cashman. This time by popsicle sticks in the air. Two laps to go. Real leader Mike Scott. Cashman continues to run second, then it's the 91 of Peabody. Third, fourth is Ed Kingsley, and rounding up the field is Gage Heron. This time by White Flag in the air. One more trip around for Mike Scott. Scott looking really stumpy. He increased number one for the winning auto Super Stone. Down the back straightaway for the final time. This one's been all about Hampton, New Hampshire driver Mike Scott. Going to collect his first checkered flag of the 2015 season. He breaks number one, goes to Mike Scott. Second will be John Captain. Third will be the winner, Sammy Peabody. Fourth will be Ed Kingsley in the 68 and the 0 2. And Gage Heron will round out your field. Dirt Bowl up in Romney in the 42 car around the corners. Having trouble with the handle in car 
number 42. This time by five down, five to go. Fear leader Hero, Massachusetts driver Anthony Belfieri. Belfieri has had nothing but bad luck in the 2015 campaign so far. Can he turn it around tonight and get his first win of 2015? Second still sits the 0 7 of Mike Williams, and it's Marento Battle for the first spot on the racetrack. Moving it now to the inside of Dalton. Dalton washing up the racetrack in car number 42, still trying to find the handle in car number 42. Blue for that out of Raymond, New Hampshire, the 78D goes to the bottom side on Colleton. Colleton still sideways in car number 42, that allows Dupinet to pull up alongside. Colleton has enough motor to hang onto it for the moment down the front straightaway. Up front now, Mike Williams starting to reel in your leader, Anthony Belfieri now, this time by two laps to go from Chief Fighter Mike Walker, two to go for Belfieri. And Belfieri hang on, or does Mike Williams have what it takes? Williams now right up to the rear bumper of Belfieri. Further back in the field, Ballistic Bill Helliwell in the 79X goes to the inside of Dufanet. Dufanet looks like he might have problems in the 78D. White flag now up front, battle the lead. That's some New Hampshire driver, Mike Williams, is putting up pressure to Belfieri now. Goes to the bottom side, down the back straightaway. Belfieri motors ahead in car number 90. In the turn number three, out of turn number four. He race number two. Looks like it might go to Belfieri. Williams with the last ditch ever, but it's going to go to Belfieri. Williams will finish second, third, will be Marento, fourth, will be Greg Collison. And rounding out your top five will be the 78D of Steve Dufanet. So, good hard racing, and he race number two for the Woody's Auto Strictly Stocks.